this video I'm going to talk about a problem in Amazon dropshipping which is prepaid returns pre-authorized returns and what it means is that Amazon is automatically authorizing returns that fall within the Amazon return policy and then what they do is they provide the customer with a return shipping label on your behalf and the item then gets shipped back to your address so the reason this is an issue if you do Amazon drop shipping you already know that we do our returns by getting the label from the supplier and then we handle the return with the customer ourselves, and then we upload the label to the customer so this is an issue because now that step has been removed or rather that control has been taken out of your hand and instead you have these prepaid return labels and by the way you have to pay for these uh, you will be charged for these labels once the customer hands the item back to the carrier so there's two downsides to this one you don't get to provide your label or do the interaction about the return and of course the other is that you're actually going to pay for this label as well and then thirdly it's going to show up at your home so these are all uh, three problems so the thing becomes well what do you do about this all right and one thing I'm doing because over the past few months I've already had returns show up at my home so it's been in effect for a while I'm not sure how long this has been in effect but it's been in effect at least the past couple months so one thing I'm doing is I'm not selling oversized items because I don't want to receive any oversized items in other words couches or you know heavy furniture large furniture which is something I used to sell before now most items don't get returned that is true but the fact of the matter is returns do happen and we cannot avoid them so I just don't even want to deal with the situation right now of heavy items coming back to my home. So right now I am only selling smaller or medium sized items. So by the way you can set your return address on your settings in Cell Central and it is separate from your business address. So you can have one address for your business address and then you can have a different address for your return address just so you know. And that is where your returns will arrive, your pre-authorized returns but this is also brings me into another discussion of finding products to sell because by not being able to sell some of those furniture um, oversized products such as furniture it now reduces the number of products that you can sell if you're in drop shipping and so or at least I should say that you can sell comfortably without worrying about the return coming back to your house so what you can do the software you can go to a particular page on Walmart and this also works with various other websites and you can look for one particular product that you're comfortable with so I don't mind a fan getting returned to my home every now and then because it's not such a large item so for instance I can go to fans on Walmart and I just click this extension and it will pull all the products off of this page it will find the matches on Amazon and then I can simply go through the products I can even sort them by profit or by rank and then I just go through the products check each link just to really make sure that they're a match and then I can use my uh, drop shipping calculator which is on my website I'll provide a link in the description this is an open public calculator online punch in the numbers and then I can calculate the exact profit with cashback see if how profitable the item is so I have other videos where I show that in more detail on the same channel but the point here is that this will make your product research a little faster now that you're you know you might be limiting yourself to certain types of products so my again overall Amazon is pre-authorizing these returns and the only suggestion I can think of is not to sell anything larger than what you can handle of course if you have a warehouse with I mean a really large warehouse where you don't mind receiving large returns then that's fine if you don't depending on the space you have you have to decide what products would you be able to receive when they get pre-authorized and shipped back to your home um, let me know of any comments you have suggestions or questions below on this uh, Amazon return policy and this is Mr. Mark self Amazon dropshipping and I hope to see you in another video